if a person is working in a haram job like interest-based bank and he repents and wants to quit it and join a halal job, what should he do with all his previous haram income savings? Must he give it away to the poor Muslims or can he keep it? First of all, haram income is divided into two types, as scholars say. Haram for the way it is earned and haram because of its essence. So the haram that is haram because of the way it is earned, like riba-based interests, working for a bank, for an insurance company, selling drugs, selling intoxicants, prostitution, the income, the money itself is haram for the way it was earned. But the money itself is not haram for others. The money that is haram due to the essence of it, such as stolen money. So if I took my neighbor's money, this is haram for me because of the way it was earned and because of the essence of this actual money is haram. So even if I give it to my wife or to my uh, children, it remains haram. Even if someone buys it off me and he gives me money and he takes the product, the product is still haram though he paid for it because it was stolen. So working in an interest-based bank is haram because Allah says in the Quran, and do not collaborate upon ithm and udwan, sin and transgression. So collaborating, cooperating with people on haram makes me part of it and makes my income haram due to that. So what to do with the money? Scholars say that if you did not know that this was haram, so you worked 20 years in a bank and you saved a lump sum, and then you came to discover on the 21st year of your working there that it is haram, the 20 years previous to your knowledge is halal for you because you did not know the ruling. What about what came after my knowledge? Scholars say that you have to dispose of that money in order to cleanse your wealth because this does not belong to you. It's haram. You cannot benefit from it. This is the majority of opinion of scholars. There is another opinion which I'm inclined to, which says that if a person is needy and if we come and tell him after he had repented, oh, Akhi, the million dollars that you have saved over the 20 years, part of your repentance is to throw them away to the poor and the needy. I'll be poor and needy then. Well, this is the only way of cleansing your, your wealth. To him, this would be a great fitna because most people would say, tell you what, I'll go back into living to sin. If he was not a Muslim, he said, I'll go back to kufr rather than suffer like this. So Shaykh al-Islam ibn al-Qayyim, may Allah have mercy on his soul, says no. To encourage people to repent, this is more, more likely to tell them, keep the money, deal with it in uh, uh, trade, try to invest it, try to make an income out of it, in halal means, so that you don't have to beg people, you don't have to become needy, and you would not compromise your uh, uh, style of living once you have repented and were remorseful. And if you make a lot of money and you can take this haram earned money that you knew that it was haram and cleanse it after you make money and you're well off, that would be good, inshallah. Ibn Taymiyyah even went an extra mile. And he said that, no, even if he knew that it was haram and he repented, he may keep that haram money. Why? Because Allah Azza wa Jal stated about those who deal in riba. What translates to, so whoever has received an admonition uh, from his Lord and desists may have what is past and his affair rests with Allah. 
So this is part of what has passed. And now, as long as he was taking the advice and he, he has or he has been reminded with it and he stopped doing haram, then what was earned in the past is forgiven and Allah Azza wa Jal knows best.